back to the channel and i got request like i should make an explanation video for this lab because this lab is just recently updated so here it is so first of all just simply log in with your credentials and once you're done with this click on the task number one just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress we will get a green tick without any issue because we don't have to do anything on the task number one okay and once you get a green tick over here we will move forward with the task number two what you do just simply come back over here now here just me search for the vm instance open this thing new tab come back over here wait for a second and here you can see video queue monitoring just simply click on this three dot and then click on this stop now just simply wait and then click on the stop button now it will take a couple of seconds so just simply wait for that And as you can see, finally, this VM is stopped. Now again, click on this name, just simply wait for a second and then click on this edit button. Now I request you please pay attention over here because this task is little bit tricky. First of all, just simply click on this unwanted pop-up. Now if you just simply scroll down and here you can see meta, metadata and here you can see automation. Now just simply drag this thing over here. Now if I just simply scroll down over here and here you can see we have to just simply export three values. So first of all what you do we have to just simply export the project ID. So just simply come back over here and here you can see project ID just simply copy like this come back over here. Let me just zoom in for you. Now here just simply replace over here like this and make sure that there is no extra space after equal to. Now let me just zoom out if you just simply scroll up and from here just simply copy this instance ID. Just simply copy like this way the way I am copying just simply copy like this scroll down at the bottom now here you can see instance ID just simply replace over here just simply like this okay and make sure that there is no extra space after equal to. Now for the zone again just simply scroll up and from here just simply copy this zone carefully just simply scroll down and just simply replace over here. like this and uh, make sure that it must look like this and once you're done with this just simply click on this save button now just simply wait for a couple of seconds and it's done now click on this three dot and then click on the start and resume and then click on the start now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile we will move forward to the task number three now what you do now here just simply search for the logging just simply open this thing in new tab come back over here wait for a second and then click on this log explorer just simply click over here click on this unwanted pop-up now what you do come back to the lab instructions click on the task number five and then click on this tips and tricks now here you can see tip number four just simply copy this thing carefully and make sure that you don't have to copy this last full stop just simply copy like this way okay just simply copy like this come back over here paste and then click on this run query just simply run over here and it's done now click on this create matrix and now for the name come back over here and here you can see custom matrix name just simply copy this name come back over here paste and then scroll down and then click on this create matrix just simply like this and we are done with the task number three as well now task number four is little bit tricky so i request you please pay attention first of all what you do we have to just search for the monitoring just simply click over here this monitoring just simply click over here wait for a second now let me just remove all this pop-up like this way first of all okay now if i just simply drag over here and here you can see dashboard just simply click over here and then click on this media dashboard just simply click over here now what you do we have to just simply add two widgets now i request you please pay attention because this task is a little bit tricky first of all what you do click on this add widget and then click on this line like this way okay just simply wait and now here you can see matrix now here just simply click over here now here just simply turn off this toggle just simply like this okay now what you do you have to just simply search for the cus 
TUM custom just me search over here and now here you can see I'm not able to find the VM instance over here and I'm glad that I faced this issue if you are able to find this kind of error again just simply refresh the page just simply do this thing okay now just simply wait and again click on this add widget and then click on this lines now again click over here and again just simply search for the CUS TUM custom now again here you can see I am now I am able to find the VM instance now click over here and then click on this custom matrix and then click on this just simply check the path VM instance custom matrix and this path now click on this apply okay once you're done with this now here you can see add filter just simply click over here and now here just simply choose the instance id just simply choose like this now it must be equal and for the value if you just simply click over here and here you will you are able to get the instance id and if you are not able to find the instance id over here come back over here and from here just simply copy this instance id this one just simply copy like this come back over here and paste like this and it must look like this if it's so then click on this apply so we are done with the first widget now again click on this add widget again click on this lines just simply like this now again click on this matrix now this time what you do now i request you please pay attention now here just simply search for the logging over here like this now here you can see vm instance just simply click over here now here you can see log base matrix and there are two matrix now if i just simply turn off this toggle you can see it's converted into five again click over here and now click on this big video upload rate just simply click over here again just simply check the path vm instance log base matrix and then logging and then click on this apply so we have done with the both the widgets now again click on this apply so we have done with the task number four now for the task number five what he'll do click on this alerting and then click on this create policy and then just simply click over here and as we done in the task number four just simply turn off this toggle like this way now here again just simply search for the logging and here you can see vm instance just simply click over here then click on this log base matrix and again from here just simply choose the big video red like this and then click on this apply just simply wait and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on this next button now here you can see threshold value for that if you just simply come back to the lab instructions and for me the alert threshold is 5 for you the, the numbers might be different so just simply choose that number and just simply type over here like this and then click on this next just simply wait now just simply turn off this toggle for the notification channel now if you just simply scroll down now for the alerting name policy just simply type quick lab and then click on this create policy now just simply wait and it's done now if we just come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for all the tasks you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated no need to worry because lab take time to update the score if we just come back over here and click on the check my progress for other tasks you will get a green tick without any issue just click on this all this check my progress we will get a green tick without any issue and as you can see i already got a hundred out of 100 and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys